back to another video. I'm so excited to have you here and really excited to share this information with you because building a meditation sanctuary has truly, truly increased my growth in my meditation and mindfulness practice. And I've been practicing meditation and mindfulness now for three-ish years, teaching for one or two of those years. And like everything, when you first start, you're inconsistent. And unless you bring good foods into your house, you're not gonna eat those good foods. Unless you create a workout space for your health, yourself or buy a gym membership, you're not gonna jump into that, that workout routine that you have. If you don't build a space for your laboratory of meditation, you're less likely to be consistent with your practice. So I'm really excited to share with you guys the information in this video, share with you what my space looks like to give you some inspiration, and I have two things scheduled for this video. Uh, I'm going to show you my space that I have indoors that I've already created and been using for the past two or so years, and then I'm going to build one with you guys outside in my screened in front porch. It's just been a beautiful space to be doing some yoga and things like that in the morning and I want to make it um, more open because it's a little, little cramped right now. So it can be another meditation space, another sanctuary. So let's get started. I'm excited to share this stuff with you guys. behind me. This is my meditation sanctuary and it's a place that I've built out in a room in my apartment to really invest time in myself and to feel like, feels like a, a nook, like a warm inviting nook is how I see this space and it took me a while to figure out how I wanted to orient the space, how I wanted to be organized and look. And this space is shared with my boyfriend who is a fisherman and his stuff is everywhere as you can see. So you can build these spaces anywhere you want. I When I first started I had one right by my bed, it was super small had a couple crystals and and that was it but that space was a little too dark for me so and a little too shared because Brian's always in there and he's only sometimes in here when he's like collecting stuff to go fishing so I created this half of the room for myself and it's it's my laboratory it's my meditation laboratory and I'll do a little quick montage for you guys of, of what I have in here and why I have it in here. I think what's a really important thing to have in your meditation space is the things that inspire you, the things that you are trying to work through. So for me, a lot of my meditations are self-love, self-forgiveness, um, rising up to be the person that in my heart I know I am and want to be for myself and for the wider collective community and you guys. So you'll see a lot of things in my sanctuary that are in particular to self-love and forgiveness and journaling. Um, a lot of the books I have in this space are all about meditation and rising up to the, be the person that you want to be. And they're just things that I've collected over time that I've wanted to do, I've wanted to jump into, I've wanted to learn more about, I've wanted to feel like and I brought them all into this space to really create this like warm womb like nook for learning and cultivating and growing the spirit and the self. So here's a quick little sneak peek into this space before we jump into making another space outside.
I'm thinking that we are going to hmm, reorganize this area because this is the space where I do yoga here and it's just a little a little tight so we're gonna get in here reorganize some stuff but first things first is we gotta clean these floors Organize. And now I have my yoga mat here, which I yoga outside a lot, so that's why there's some of these sap and stuff on the bottom of this mat. I want to have a space that I know is laid out specifically for what I'm trying to do there. So if you have like a big meditation pillow or if you want to be able to lay your yoga mat out in your sanctuary, I recommend putting that down first so that you can figure out how to orient everything around the activity that you are attaining to do in this position. So, let's do it. So we have our yoga mat set up here and I've kind of been playing around with some plants and I have found these tall, very tall candle holders in the alley like a couple of years ago and they're actually really cool so I set that up I have that set up so that's where I'm gonna be doing my space um, and now it's just time to reorganize and collect some things and hang it all up to record more videos in this space for you guys. There's a bird that's really loud right now. Uh, so if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, put a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm so that more of my videos can reach more people. We can share the message of meditation, mindfulness, and well-being, and the different types of practices that go with that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some inspiration, and like always, Go follow me over on Instagram at underscore raising wellness underscore or join the raising wellness Facebook community by going to your Facebook and typing in raising wellness community and I will be sure to approve your membership so that you can get all this content before everyone else. So check you guys later and have a good day.